Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Shishan. Today, as you can see by the title, is going to be a makeup challenge and this challenge, I want to start a new series on my channel where I do a challenge every month and try to test myself at how well I can do this makeup look. So I've gone through and chose a makeup look from YouTube that Nikki Tutorials did around last year, I believe, I don't know when. and. Uh, it went viral and I feel like that could be a good start for this uh, series and basically it's just a makeup challenge that I'm just gonna try to follow and try and recreate keyword recreate so uh, yeah I'm just gonna start it now I don't know what to call this um, this challenge yet so yeah but this is the video that I saw Nikki do it's the princess crown thing I f initially saw it on Daisy Marquez Kez's um, uh, YouTube channel but then I saw Nikki did it and she explained it a bit more better that I that I could probably understand so I'm gonna I'm hey gonna f so today I'm gonna follow Nikki tutorials uh, tutorial <laughs> Nikki tutorials tutorial so I want to follow her and see if I could do it and I've tried to pick out the most similar items that I could find because I don't have the exact products that she uses so yeah and by the way I've never done a cut crease before so that's good so this is the pic let me get an actual picture I think she has a picture it's this picture here where she has a like a like a crown on her eye you probably can't see it that well because it's not even in HD so I can't see it that well but I'm gonna follow her YouTube video that she did uh, last year in March and I'm gonna try and try and do it so I've already done my base as you can see I've done my base and I've done my brows and I've prepped my eyes and I've done everything I'm just gonna go in with my foundation wow look at that look how white my face is okay so I'm just gonna zoom in a tiny bit so you guys oh that's that's really zoomed in I'm gonna put it on mute because I feel like you won't be able to hear me what I'm saying hey guys oh so that's not mute okay so to start off with the eyes she's using the Huda Beauty rose gold palette which I actually don't have but I'm gonna take my Morphe Jack Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take this colour. It looks a bit darker so I'm just going to take a light hand and mix it with this because it looks very warm in her photo, in her video, sorry. I'm just going to take it, zoom in a tiny bit. I'm just going to take that in my crease where she has it. So she's got more eyelid space than I have um, and oh uh, she has more of like a prominent crease so I just want to probably I'm just going to match it to my eye shape just taking those two colours and I'm just going to blend that into my crease for where she looks like she has it she's tapered it more as like a cat eye but I'm not going to do that because I feel like cat eyes make my eyes very small so I'm just going to uh, match it to my eye shape I'm going to do one eye um, on camera then one eye off camera because I feel like this is going to be a really long video then. Basically she said to like build up the colour so I'm just building up the colour quite heavily. She's taking a maroon colour now and I'm going to take this colour which looks kind of similar, this colour here. Ooh. and I'm going to use that and she's basically putting it all over her lid and in her crease oh right she's, no, she's putting it more into the crease sorry oh my god she's got it like she's made it so pretty how does she do that she's blown it out a lot ton I'm just gonna go back and forth and try and replicate 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 what she's done well I have never gone really dark and maroony in my eye wow I look weird 
I'm just gonna go back and forth with brushes and try to blend out, like making it soft like the edges. It's all about blending. Because I don't have exact shades, it might not look the same. So, but I want it to make it look so similar and her eyeshadow goes all the way up here. But I feel like because of my eye shape, it will look too top heavy because I have quite small eyes and I have, I don't really have like a, I have like really hooded eyes and it looks weird. So I'm just gonna try to suit it to my like eye shape. Got it more tapered out and more close to her brow bone, but I've gone like, more like a circle like a like this kind of shape i have like it slightly tapered up but i don't have it like really sharp and winged out all the way to my uh the towel of my brow so i'm just gonna add some of this like warm brick color here because it looks quite red and uh warm there so i'm just gonna pop that also in my crease Okay, I feel like I have like that kind of colour and like shade that she has. Okay, she's taking a bossy eyeshadow which is like a deep maroon colour which is very similar to that and she's packing that all over her lid so I'm going to do something similar to that as well. I'm going to mix this colour and this colour. Whoa, it's pigmented. And she's packing that all over her lid. I'm just going to take this little thing and the same I, like mix these two like I said which I just took on my eye lid and she's gone really like dark under there uh, I've never gone really dark I don't know how far she's taking it she's taking it midway taking it halfway like she said oh how does she create a new inner corner she has really different like shaped eyes to me i'm gonna try and do a little bit i'm not gonna do too much because it's it that new inner corner suits her eye for me it looks weird so i'm gonna try and like do that i don't even know what I just did okay so she's doing her cut crease now her crown and I'm gonna try and do it as well. I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I don't have the MAC one, so I'm just gonna use this. She's created like peaks on her eyes and she's got a quite high with it, but I'm gonna take it a bit lower considering I haven't I haven't taken my eyeshadow so high. So I'm just gonna take this and uh, I'm gonna take like this uh, concealer palette as like a a thing to put my concealer in because then it will be a lot easier for me to control what I am doing and using. So I'm gonna take a, like a I'm taking a I'm taking a, a, an eyeliner brush for this, and I'm just dipping it in there, I like wiping a bit off as well, because I don't want too much and like have like a, a blob. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a tiny bit more so you can actually see, and. Let's uh, pray for me and hope for the best. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to fill it in now. <laughs> it looks really funny, I'm not going to lie and uh, that's what it looks like, that's what I've got and uh, let's see what she is doing next she's taking a like duochrome like shimmery shadow now and putting it on top so I don't have that kind of that colour 
to to put on my lid so I'm just gonna use what I have in my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I want to take this color here which is the best I could find that would be pretty with like this look as well but um, I don't have the exact like purpley kind of bright pop pink that she has so yeah I'm gonna take this like uh, rose goldy color and pop it all over on top They're not as sharp as I would like them to, but you know, I'm learning with zero amount of skill. Okay, she's putting glitter on her eye now, and I don't have the exact glitter, and I don't own a lot of glitters. Oh, sorry. I don't have own a lot of glitters, so I'm just going to go with... Oh, gosh. I'm going to go with the glitter. That looks good with this look. I'm going to take my Tarte Glitter Liner in the shade Rose Gold with this. I want to take the like the other side of this liner, which is actually a metallic uh, liner, and I'm going to try and sharpen the peaks. Oh wow, that is, that is something. My eye, look at my eye, oh my god. She's gone more purpley with her crown. I've got a bit more rose goldy and pink. So, yeah. I'm gonna take these nail things, these nail things, and I'm gonna try and use them. They're a bit bigger than hers because I noticed that hers are really, really tiny. Mine, mine are a bit larger. So, yeah. I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of lash glue and like paint the lash glue on the top first. We'll take a pair of tweezers and the little gem. Okay, all right. Let's add the last two. Okay, she put white on hers. I feel like mine is quite bright because I have like silver ones. She put pink ones on. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, now she's putting a white like, eyeliner in like this bit. I don't have a white eyeliner. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I am just going to try and be creative and put a highlighter here. And see if it, you know, will work. I'm just using my Citroen highlighter. And I'm just going to place some highlighter in my inner corner too. Wow. That's super pretty. Okay, she's got really big lashes. I don't have really big lashes. I'm going to try and pop these on and be right back. I'm also going to put mascara on. So I'm just going to do it off camera because it will take forever for me to do this. So yeah. Oh my god, I look weird, I look crazy. Okay, let's do this lower lash line. Wow, I feel like hers looks so much better than mine. Oh my god, okay. So she's put lower lashes on, lower uh, mascara, lash mascara on. I've also put it on, I'm also gonna something in my waterline because I feel like my one looks my eyes look small right now so I'm just gonna put a bit of something to like open them up to open up a tiny bit okay right, I'm gonna take my Jouer highlight like crayon stick and put it in my waterline gonna take this 
Jouer highlighter in the shade Citroen to set that in place. Oh my god, I'm slowly like liking this. It looks so weird when I first did it with like one eye, but like I'm back with both eyes and it looks so cool. Okay, right, let's finish the rest of it. She's got really big lashes on. I don't own like really big lashes. I've actually even stacked two lashes on top of each other and tried to make them as like full and as big as possible, but I own really natural lashes. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to bronze my face now with, with, I have Hoola, um, but I'm not going to use Hoola today because, oh, that's the only thing that I have exact from this uh, challenge, but I'm going to use my Laguna br uh, blush, but I'm going to use my Laguna bronzer today to bronze my face instead of my NARS one. She's proper cutting her cheeks with it, but I'm going to bronze my face with it. Okay, she's using using a quite uh, bright blush, but for me, I think it's gonna be a bit too pink if I apply like pink. Like, I'm gonna apply a nude kind of blush for me. So, um, what works for me is the blush that I've been loving so much recently, and this is the Tarte blush in the shade. Oh, sorry, in the shade Traveled, and it's a really pretty pink color. I love using this with everything. It goes with like every single look that I do, and I love it. So I'm just gonna apply a bit to my cheeks. I'm not gonna apply too much, just a light bit, because I don't want all the attraction to go to my cheeks. Just mainly like um, on my eyes today. I'm just gonna go in with like uh, a really blinding highlighter. She's using her one with Ofra, but I'm going to take I'm going to take my the strongest highlighter that I have, and this is Jouer's highlighter, and uh, I'm using the shade Citroen for my face. So yeah. Okay, so she's got like a peachy nude lip. I don't own a peach nude lip. I own more of a nude lip. I own uh, nudie pink lips. I don't own nudie peachy lips. So uh, I want to try and do this with a peachy pink, with a nudie pink lip. So I've got here a nudie pink here, which is by NARS and it's in the shade Barbara. Love this. She's got a lip topper on by Jouer. I don't own that specific one. I own I own these two by Jouer. And I have here Skinny Dip and Papaya. Pape? Pape. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply this mini one by Jouer and it's the Skinny Dip one. Oh look, it's super. Oh look, it's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at the eyes. I am so impressed at how I did this. I thought it would be a mess, but I took my time and this is what it looks like. Wow. I'm legit so amazed at how like well I did. I thought it went really wrong. The only like, like if I was to nitpick at my eyes is that this is way higher than this. This is a lot lower down my eye. This is a lot higher, so they're not that even. And these peaks here, they are um, not evenly spaced out and they look a bit uneven. But overall, I'm not mad at it. It looks so cool. But when I close my eyes like this, you can't see anything apart from like the top bits of the gems. Probably with hooded eyes, but oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. I love this. Oh my god.
this is challenge this challenge oh my gosh but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching give it a like if you want comment down below what other makeup looks you want me to do next inspired by whatever whoever you want and i'll consider doing them and yeah i'll see you guys next thursday bye